some 60 to 70 percent of the world's population will be living in cities by, by 2030. Smart and Sustainable Cities basically is looking at how we can better organise our existing infrastructure um, and information to improve how cities work from um, an energy, transportation, um, many different utilities uh, perspective. We would look at how energy might be managed in a better way in cities, how we can you know, reduce dependence on, you know, for example, fossil fuels, make better use of available energy sources, develop some new ideas about energy sharing among communities within a city. We have projects with the City Council, for example, in the civic offices. We've got into this complex of 36,000 square metres and we've then forensically analysed, well, where is the energy being used in this building? And you end up finding, yes, there's a complicated control system, which we call the BMS, Building Management System. It's there, but still, the energy being used in the building means it's warming up parts of the building you don't want, and the parts you want warming up aren't. My particular interest in the area of smart sustainable cities are the smart citizens which are located within it. My contribution is about bringing people in, bringing stakeholders in, bringing everyday citizens in and getting them to sit round the table and actually brainstorm about alternative futures which may be more desirable than where we are currently. We had a, a workshop that, that we invited in Dublin Bus. Intel and Dublin City Council with ethnographers and computer scientists to explore both the problems that exist in the city and also the potential for having technology to, to help solve those kinds of problems. The emergence of new information and communication technologies, particularly sensors and wireless communication, means that we can gather a lot more information about traffic flow in a city. So one of the projects that we're working on is looking at how we can develop uh, smarter traffic lights and smarter in the sense that they actually learn different patterns of traffic that are prevalent in a particular area and then they learn what is the right sort of response in terms of the traffic signal um, to dealing with that particular pattern of traffic and they can adapt very very quickly as they see new patterns of traffic uh, emerging. What Trinity are doing in the Peacocks project is we're looking at estimating emissions using real-time data we're partnered with TomTom Tom in the Netherlands. They have um, what we call floating car data, which provides real-time traffic data across the city. So we're using this real-time traffic data across both Dublin and Vienna um, to work out what the real-time emissions are. What we aim to develop is a model that will be able to take this data that TomTom Tom provide, um, we'll apply our emissions calculations, and then give back to the user a real-time emissions um, profile of any of the trips that they're likely to take. We are actually engaged at the moment with a concept called shared space where you create a space in the city with a wide range of different um, users and modes of transport share that space. Um, so that's a project with the Centre for Excellence in Universal Design, the National Disability Authority and Dublin City Council. We have a technological framework that, ha that can provide access to large-scale urban related data that make that available to business people that they can readily utilize this data and they have knowledge that they can come up with new business ideas that, they, that can be deployed and applied quickly and relevantly to the markets that might become available to them. In here in Trinity to have the access to first of all the reputation Trinity has, the vast array of academics that are under this Smarter Cities umbrella enables us to do truly interdisciplinary research that's able to inform policy both nationally and internationally. We have a set of unique strengths um, that you know naturally come together to tackle this area. Uh, we're also located I suppose within the heart of a city so it's a, a natural thing for, for Trinity College to, to tackle. It's the, the very focus on innovation and entrepreneurship within an, an academic environment that really sets uh, Trinity's Smart and Sustainable Cities Research Group uh, uh, apart. This is an opportunity to harness some of the bright people in Trinity and the resources you have to target real world problems in a real world setting. Yeah.